Happy Friday the 13th, everybody. It is my favorite national holiday besides Star Wars Day. This happens only a couple times a year. It's Friday the 13th. And do you know what time of year it is? It is September 13th of any day on a Friday. Join me, I'm Sauce the Boss, and we're gonna have an epic Friday the 13th together. Today, it was amazing at work. I got a nice, I got, it was a nice day. I got some nice food for lunch. I got a nice paper cut. It was totally perfect. I absolutely love Friday the 13th. You don't know what luck in store is for you, good or mysteriously bad. Who knows? But today, we're going to Spirit Halloween, and we're going to a little tavern called the Dublin Tavern, which I'm looking forward to here in Columbus. As always, I am Saj the Boss, and please hit the subscribe button, press the like button if you're enjoying today's video. So join me, let's go and have fun on Friday the 13th. And to end the night, we're watching Friday the 13th, a new beginning. Okay, let's go. I cannot wait to have and some we fun. we have arrived at Spirit Halloween. Let's go inside and see how much fun we're going Okay to guys, I'm in heaven. I see our t-shirt wall. Look at this. All of our t-shirts are in the back right here. We're definitely taking a look at our t-shirts and some costumes. Let's see what ones we have. Here, guys, we do have the Art the Clown Spirit Halloween t-shirt, which I might get. And they also have the bloody disgusting Jason Voorhees from Happy Friday the 13th. And then Michael Myers. And this beautiful hungry Pennywise t-shirt. And more Terrifier. And this one too, most likely to kill. I love that. So many cool t-shirts, ladies and gentlemen. I might go Okay, home. guys, here is Ghostface. Oh, there he is. That is beautiful. Yes. Check that out. Yes. Here's the ringmaster this year. Tampa J showed me this guy. Come on, ringmaster. Step right up. Yes. Oh, look at that light inside of them. That is so cool. Okay, guys, let's get inside the carnival of horror. Oh, this is heaven. Look at the Michael Myers plushie, whatever the scarecrow is. Oh my gosh, I think that jump scared the heck out of me. I love this guy. Oh, but we're running. Oh my goodness gracious. Spider, clown. Oh man, look at him. Okay, come on. I've been watching you for a while now. I hope you don't mind. I like the way you walk. I can't help but follow you around with my gaze. You have a certain bounce in your step that's just so enticing. Mind if I follow you around for a bit longer? Yes, please. <laughs> Here are some of the skulls you can pick up as well. I like this guy right here. That is really neat. I like this guy. So I might get this one or the brain. Should I get a brain? Oh, I love this matte black skull. I already got one from Target, but this is a nice and heavy and durable skull as well. Oh, I can smell latex everywhere. It's latex capital of the world here. Um, but it's got a crow, a heart. Oh my goodness. I love this squishy heart. It looks like a dog toy. Ah, oh, I got the heart. <laughs> really cool too. And then we also have like this little snail chains, a severed hand and foot, which is really cool too, and severed heads. But I can't really get into that. Our digital circus has costumes this year. That is awesome. There's Citizen Kane right here. There's Kane right here. Really cool. I might have to get this. This is so cool. I love that series. And this is a cool mask. Here's the Art the Clown costume. I love this thing. This is an adult, small to medium, but. This is what it looks like in the back. That's Art the Clown. Oh, that's so cool. I love that. And there's the other Art the Clown here. Art the Clown plushie and the knife. I absolutely love the Terrifier knife here. This is really cool. Got Art's face in there. Really cool. We got to do a Haunted Fun House at some point as well, which I cannot wait to get into. Christmas has came early. Look at this. A good guy's doll of Chucky. Oh, I love this. Oh, I want him so bad in my collection. Oh my gosh, how much is he? Are these no plants? See. Look at these. Actually, they're fake little plants of Jason and Pennywise. Oh, that's like, so cute. 
I never would get the Jason one though. That is adorable. Oh, I love that. No, it's cute. How much are these? Oh, it's only sixteen dollars. So definitely want to get a fake plant. Okay, guys, let's see how this marinette thing works. Come on, pop it. Oh boy, you finally made it. Yeah. And also got the corpse bride back here as well. I think we gotta get the teddy bear working, but haunt on people, haunt on. Should I buy the Shrek feet slippers? I don't know. <laughs> really funny. I should roll in the Comic Con like this for sure. The Ecto one. <laughs> That's funny. And there's Wolverine. That's cool. Look at all the Wolverines. <laughs> Wolverine, Wolverine, Lady Deadpool, and Deadpool. That is cool. I kind of want to try this on actually. I don't, I don't know if there's any way to try on these really cool costumes I found. And there's Scooby Doo Doo's head. Well, like Zoink Scoob. Like Zoink Man Scooby Doo. Okay, guys, here is the Harvester. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's cool too. I like this guy. Really neat. I like this guy too. Here it is. Here it comes. Here comes the hot candy. Whoa! <laughs> that is fun. I love that. Big spider as well. Another dream purchase of mine is getting the Michael Myers mask to get my photo up with him at Comic Con. I think it'd be really cool to have him talk his autograph and maybe he can sign the mask. So that'd be kind of cool. It's actually a $70 mask too. I don't know if I should put it on because of lice, but it looks awesome. Oh, I love Michael Myers. He's my favorite slasher, by the way. Look how cool. They got the dirt on the skin here, and like his eyes. This is awesome. Fun fact this is used as a Star Trek mask before it actually became a thing. So Really cool, really cool. Love Michael Myers. And then there's more down here too from Halloween. This is part two's mask. Oh man, I love, love, love. I'm in heaven. Look at that. <laughs> oh, here's the teddy bear. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. I love his little, little ball balancing. Really cool. Really cool there. I also love this little pillow down here for Hogwarts. That's really cool. I'm gonna send that to my, I'm gonna send that to my mom. That's really another cool. dream of mine too. Oh, I love that. That is cool. Severed ears and brains. Oh, that's so cool. Look at that. He has a bat in his mouth. Oh, I love, love, love that. And the rose one. Oh, how much are these skulls? Oh, man, I want the bat one really bad. I actually want to get the rose. I think the rose is really nice. I don't have anything like that. Oh, $22. That's kind of like my whole purchase there. I'm going to get this and I might get a blanket. So, I don't know. I'm still thinking, still thinking. But these are cool. And here are the blankets, ladies and gentlemen. There are so many cool little blankets you can choose to have here. We got the Science of the Lambs, Ghost Space, oh, Ghost Space, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, Halloween, Michael Myers, a Twilight Zone, or uh, Scary Movies and Chill Ghost Space blanket. Oh, yep, we're going to get that one right there. That's a nice blanket. Any true crime lovers? They have a real bloody bag. Body bags, which is really cool. Love that. You wrap your skeleton in that. <laughs> I don't know why I love this store. There's so many weird things I can showcase, like this weird tree thing. Can I imagine this in a closet door? <laughs> also, there's little pajama sets. Oh, that's adorable. I love pajamas. Oh, I kind of want some for myself, actually. <laughs> Look at the Gremlins one. I like that. That's totally 80s people. I may or may not get this uh, handcraft of the recently deceased mug as well, because I love my coffee mugs, and this is a really nice one. I love Beetlejuice, and I love coffee in general and this is super cool it's a beetlejuice coffee mug and i love this art crispies um cereal as well i think it's like a wall decor actually this is actually a real cereal maybe i don't know art crispies i love that i don't know if it's a t-shirt or not in there and then we have the welcome to dairy's fun house oh my gosh this reminds me of the book do you have the courage to return to dairy's calling and then pennywise and then seven losers i think in the background really cool even a shout out to tim curry right there so, very neat. Um, guys, I think I met the Grim Reaper. <laughs> what should I do? Oh, 
Oh, there he is. Step into the shadows with me, mortal. Where the boundary between life and death blurs. And the night holds its breath for you. <laughs> um, we're gonna buy my snacks. I want these. We're gonna buy these. <laughs> I want this too. This is cool. Look at that. Got a duck. Got a duck, boys. That's cool. I don't know what to do with that. Let's keep on also, looking. Guys, here is the Texas chainsaw. Chainsaw. Really cool. It's actually like handcrafted in wood. And that's $17.99, guys. Really cool. Really cool. I love that. And they got the uh, shining axe, the ghost face knife. Love it. And here's the ghost house with Lydia Dietz. Really cool. I absolutely love that, too. That's awesome. Well, guys, I think I'm going to book my next ride to go to my restaurant. So let's go. The damage has been done. I think I spent about $52 in there. I got a couple really cool things. Totally worth it. It's a little bit of expensive time, but I got a coupon for October as well. So yeah, go to Superior Halloween. I did do a little uh, damage tonight. <laughs> well guys, I made it to dinner. So let's go inside and uh, go eat, get some delicious food. The Dublin Tavern, here we are. Well guys, this is a 45 minute wait with my loot. So I kind of just want to sit around and just kind of chill out for a little bit because this is a little heavy. Not going to lie, this little purchase right here is a little darn heavy. <laughs> I'd be ready the 13th. Do you know that scene in Forrest Gump where you're sitting on a park bench in the middle of the road? Well, that's kind of how my situation is right now as I wait 45 minutes for my reservation at the little um, Dublin Tavern. So my view kind of looks like I'm sitting here at Forrest Gump with Spirit Halloween merch. Yeah, that's my life right now. And it's an expensive life too. <laughs> Friday the 13th, you go home. You go big or go home, baby. I love Friday the 13th. I cannot wait for the new beginning. Uh, so we're just kind of sitting here chilling. Um, I'll definitely want to show you everything I get in there. I'm trying to save my battery. It's at 66% right now. So we're just vlogging on a bench. Like, I don't know why. I'm going to show you the view. If you think about it, this is my view. <laughs> I'm actually like Forrest Gump. Here's my little view tonight. I got my ghost face blanket. I'm Jason Voorhees' head in here and beautiful flowers. Oh man, beautiful view tonight. I'm outdoors, love it. So on a Friday the 13th, I'm drinking a drink called St. John's Gate or something like that. Saint, and it's a whiskey drink with a little Guinness syrup, simple syrup, and there's a little bit of whiskey in here, Irish whiskey, and it's very nice. And also, this is one thing I purchased from the haul, so stay tuned for the rest of it. I got the handbook for the recently deceased mug. So, it's a really nice mug, got the nice texture book right here. And then I got the uh, man and woman crossing the bridge to the, uh, to the new world, so very nice. So, I'm glad I got that. This drink, nice and sweet. I love it. So the James Gate also comes with bacon, but I chose not to get bacon to be a little healthier, but if I, if I was eating a salad, I would consider getting the bacon, but uh, I had a peanut butter and chocolate cake for dessert late earlier, so I didn't really need the calories. So this is a really cute little whiskey drink. It's very small because it's whiskey. It's so nice too. And the smell is amazing. You also got some orange bitters on the very bottom of the whiskey. Very and nice. with our short, short little time hater lads, we got the shepherd pie and look at the battery, nice. This is a shepherd's pie, guys. This is beautiful. Even got a little dinner roll on top. Oh, even some little butter. This is totally my alley, guys. Oh, I'm in heaven. Absolutely fort recovery meal. Okay, guys, the shepherd's pie, holy smokes on a cracker. That is the best thing I've ever had in my entire life, besides beef wellington, besides my Mikasa. The beef wellington is the bomb. Well, the shepherd's pie is the bomb. Sorry about the noise here. It's beautiful. Absolutely scrumptious. It's got the peas, got the carrots. It's almost like a pot roast mashed potatoes on top and served with the narrow. It pairs well with my drink too. Mm. I'm in heaven. Check out this bite here too. Look at that. Amazing. Is that gravy 
Oh my gosh, look at that inside layer of the shepherd's pie. There's my fork, you see the peas, the carrots, diving down even more with the ground beef. Oh man, the, it's, it's almost like shoulder rolls right there. It's like chuck roast, and then the breadcrumb, and then dinner roll. Oh my goodness, guys, look at that roll. Wow. This is 10 out of 10. Oh man, guys, that was delicious. Feel a little, not tipsy, but feel really nice. Oh my goodness. Look at that plate. Mm, mm, mm. The boy done the dishes once again. He sure did. Once again, he finished the plate. Oh, that's awesome. A couple minutes ago, there was a squirrel on that roof. I was going to showcase that future feature for you, but it's gone. No. Okay, guys, we made it back home and uh, we got the goods. And I can't wait to showcase what I bought from Spirit Halloween. And then we can start a new beginning. Yes. Two things, ladies and gentlemen. There may be some loud vacuuming in the background. I will apologize for for that in advance. Um, it's a nice little hum of a hummer, so just be very mindful of the vacuum. Okay, regardless of the vacuum noise, we're back home. We had a blast at Spirit Halloween. We had a blast on Friday the thirteenth. Mind freak, ladies and gentlemen. I cannot believe I did everything and everything I wanted to do tonight. Got back home at seven thirty, and I'm gonna show you what I bought. I know you saw one thing because I was afraid to get damaged when I was sitting out on the patio. So I did get this really cool coupon. 100% <laughs> off, baby. Spirit Halloween for October, man. October. Let's freaking go, October. I got a book of recently deceased coffee mug. I love coffee. Coffee is like one of my favorite things in the entire world. I love Beetlejuice. Uh, so... I ended up getting this really nice uh, mug that inspired one of my favorite books. This is the book of the recently deceased. Walk into the path right here. Then the back has the little spinal cover of the book of the recently deceased. It says Beetlejuice and uh, on the back. It's nice and blue inside. And it says Beetlejuice. So he's saying it three times. So I did get that for $10, ladies and gentlemen. So that was $10 for a mug. Which I gotta peel off the sticker. <laughs> which I do in a little bit. But yeah. Anyone when purchases have like little stickers, it's a little annoying. So, it's my very first Beetlejuice mug. Um, so, yeah. I got the price tag later, but that's $10 for this mug book of recently deceased. Uh -uh. Yes, I'm a morbid kind of guy. I'm a morbid kind of guy. I love the book of recently deceased. Yeah, after all, I'm all about the other side. <laughs> okay, finishing off this bag. I did pick up a very cool blanket right here. I love blankets. I got my first receipt too. This was $26 for a, uh, a ghost face uh, scary movie blanket. It says horror right here and it says scary movies and chill with ghost face coming out of the television with a horror sticker. I saw that. This is the last one of this blanket at Spirit Halloween. And I'm like, it's ghost face. I love Scream. And why not get a Halloween blanket well not Halloween a blanket a horror blanket I love horror I love movies I love cinema and nothing pokes most fun to classic horror or any cinema franchise than the Scream franchise I love the Stab franchise and this is like a Stab like movie like not movie like replica or something it's a movie merchandise item you see in the Stab universe so it says right here scary movies and chill and you know who we can call other than Ghostface very cool got this fleece blankie for $26, and it's very soft. So, I got this uh, really cute little blanket, ages 14 and up, very cute. I'm gonna put all this in the bag. Um, I'll actually put it off camera right now, and then bag it up later to take upstairs. So we got that, really cute, really cute. And then, I got some other cool things as well. Next thing I did pick up for myself, sorry, a little breakable, I'm gonna do the breakable first is a Jason Voorhees succulent plant. It's a little fake succulent plant of Jason Voorhees. And he looks so adorable. He's, this is $16.99 from the Spirit of Halloween. It's just the Jason hockey mask uh, with a little racks and a little fake plant on top. And a little blood drip. It's kind of articulated it a little bit. I just love how the blood just splatters all over the place on this mask. So 
It was so cute. It's like a little pineapple, but it's Jason Voorhees. <laughs> I love it. It's so cute. Makes a good coffee table thing. Yeah, you know me. I love my blood. I love my guts. I love my gore. I love my horror. <laughs> See? I love my movies, so I love horror films. So this is perfect. So far, so far, this haul is perfect from Spirit Halloween. So I got a little bit more horror items in here. That's actually all different properties, to be honest with you. But kind of intertwined with the one property. So I don't know. But one of my other favorite movies of all time... And I needed a shot glass. I, I, I got a shot glass, not gonna lie. So I needed something that would represent myself and if I ever do take a shot. Well, I did get something that makes the most zany sense for a shot glass. Notoriously one of the best films ever created, probably one of the most weirdest films ever created. It was also one of the films that you need to see many, many times in your lifetime because it's amazing. And it's a film that not a lot of people will think it's good. I think it's a good B movie, but personally, I love it. Universal and Halloween Horror Nights House of it. Drumroll, please. Notoriously, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. Yes, Killer Clowns from Outer Space. You got the popcorn, you got all the clowns, shorty, tall, and um, is it slim? I don't know, but you got the big top right here. This is a really cute little uh, shot glass right here. Love it. I love the carnival. I love Killer Clowns. It's perfect. Perfect little shot glass. So cheers! Cheers to Spirit Halloween! So I don't know anything I purchased from Spirit. I gotta say, the blanket. Probably my favorite. Actually, this little Jason little plant. I think this is so cute. I cannot say how much I love this little purchase. Oh my goodness. Super cute. And this one's cute too. I saw this at the very end of the checkout. I'm like, it said a dollar. So I'm like, a dollar's a dollar. I'm like, ah, okay. I got this too. And I also got a Butterfinger for a little... Mini dessert, which I ate in the Uber. So, all in all, 10 out of 10 all. And now it's time for part seven. A new beginning. Friday the 13th. Annual tradition. Cannot wait. Yes, we're doing it. Okay, let me pack all this stuff up. Get the basement set up. Take you guys downstairs. And then I think I'm going to close out the video after I finish the movie. And, uh... Give you a little analysis. this. So, all in all, great Friday the 13th. And I cannot wait to see what's next. Oh, I have one little thing left from the haul. It's from Walmart. Yes. I don't know what I got from Walmart. You'll see. You'll see. Let me open up it. <laughs> well, okay. Open it. Here we go. It's like Christmas morning, ladies and gentlemen. Merry Christmas today. Again. I got Christmas again. <laughs> Let's see what Wooly World sent me. Oh, I know what this is. You know what a gift you get as a kid? You're like, oh, I know what this is. That's what I'm doing with this box. <laughs> Almost there. Almost there. They have a seal on the side of it, too. Sorry, I think I'm Tasmanian devil. <laughs> Actually, Walmart, you sent this thing very, very efficiently tonight. I am proud of you for this. I knew this was coming on Friday the 13th. I did get a PS5 controller. This is a silver one. I got this for 60 bucks. Really nice. So, nice gray one to contrast the white one. So... Yeah, there's a PS5 controller. Really cool. I do have a PS5. I just bought one recently. So that is cool. Love it. Dig the controller. So very clean. Very clean. I like that. Okay, on to the movie. After three flights of stairs and a heart beating deep breath, we can almost say it's movie time. We gotta wait for my dad to get the password unlocked to watch Friday the 13th because it's age restricted or something like that, but I cannot wait to watch it. And I know I'm 21, why do things have to be age restricted? Yeah, so we're getting ready to watch Friday the 13th. Jason lives. <laughs> it's that time of night, Friday the 13th, part seven. Well, part six, Jason. And it's over. What a, a great installment in the franchise. Easily one of my favorites. And I got a little distracted because I was watching my boy Tampa J. Uh, he was actually at Camp Crystal Lake or Camp Blood or now Boy Scout Camp that I can actually spend the night and take a VIP tour. Fingers crossed I can fly out to New Jersey one day to uh, end up going to see Camp Blood. It's one of my things before I die on my bucket list. This is a cool thing. Okay, all I can say about... Um, Jason Lives. Holy cow, what an amazing movie. 
that was it was not the greatest movie because you know the Friday Thirteen movies got crappier and crappier as you watch the plot, but uh, this one was not that bad. It was really good, very cheesy like usual, but I really enjoyed the story of Tommy and the conclusion of this character. Spoilers, uh, but you guys seen the movie by now. But uh, it kind of it kind of takes place with. Him and his overdwelling of like Jason's out there. He's still living after digging up the grave, and Jason comes back to the haunt the dead. Also, some great broad daylight scenes. I don't want to spoil anything like that, but if you know, you know. Amazing. And finally, the camp is open, full of children. Yes, bring on the children. All are welcome. Yeah, a little bit of a. Um, a poltergeist reference there. So, I gotta say, all in all, amazing time. I loved it. I love paying $4 every year on Friday the 13th. And the next one is New Blood. I'm looking forward to it. I'm not sure what direction their franchise is going to take with New Blood. But so far, all of them are solid. I wish I got more of that weird redneck kind of like um, um, the trailer park kind of like gift shop kind of thing. I kind of want to see that, but I didn't really see that in the movie. So, I wish there was something like that, but it, it, it was a nice take. It was kind of the usual spiel of, like, cop does this, uh, teens do whatever, Jason kills, majority of everything. So, <laughs> it's interesting. And it also had a, really, I caught a, a Disney Pixar Easter egg. You may be wondering, from Monsters University, there's one scene, uh, J uh, Jason lives, where he goes to the camp for the kids, and that's what Soli and Mike Wazowski do. And the kids were scared, like, literally the, the, the uh, daylight out of them um, from that scene. So it kind of reminds me of that. So that happened before Monster Sync. So maybe they said the same universe. Who knows? So uh, leave in the comments. As always, guys, if you guys enjoyed today's video, and I am a mind freak, uh, I really enjoyed making this video. I had so much fun tonight. It was easily one of the best Friday the 13th I've ever celebrated. This might be one of the longest videos on my YouTube channel. But as always, I am Saja the Boss, and thank you for watching, and stay tuned for Oktoberfest. My very first Oktoberfest in September. I don't care. Halloween's upon us. We're getting closer and closer to my favorite holiday. So thank you, and as always, I hope you had fun today, and I just love Friday the 13th. Hopefully you guys do as much as I do. So see you guys tomorrow for some beer and enjoy some Oktoberfest. So thank you, and I will, as always, I am Saj the Boss, and raise up.